This is Dabu 7. For the third consecutive day, planet Earth is in the stream of this fast-moving solar wind that has been flowing from this canyon-shaped hole in the sun's atmosphere. Now, all this material is headed toward Earth, hitting Earth at speeds exceeding 600 kilometers per second. Now, there's a lot of questions as to the nature of auroras. Well, one thing's for sure, here in the past few days, these auroras have stretched all the way down into the northern part of the United States, where those with clear skies have had the opportunity to see them. Now, unfortunately for me here, I haven't had that chance. It's been overcast for the most part. But another thing that I wanted to point out here was this incoming object that's going to come pretty close today. It's going to pass within the moon and the earth. And whenever we have an object coming that close, to me, it's one to pay attention to. Now, we may not see anything big come of this, but as you can see here, this object can come very near Earth today. And it's not always the one object that causes problems, but it's others that it may hit or it may have trailing with it that could cause fireballs to rain down here in our atmosphere on Earth. But I just wanted to cover this, some space updates, let folks know that we are in the third day now of this stream of energy coming in that's been creating these auroras at the poles. And we do have a near-Earth object that is coming extremely close, passing between Earth and the Moon. But I will continue to update if we see any changes. If you guys got anything out there you want me to report on, let me know. Dapu7yahoo.com. I'll leave links below. This has been Dabu7. Eyes to the skies.